Hello, I'm Al Spinks. I'm a speaker, author, entrepreneur, and mentor. And this is my second post in the series on belief, faith, sight, and their importance in helping us to experience a full and successful life. In my earlier post, I stated that belief is defined as a state or habit of mind in which trust or confidence is placed in someone or something. I also stated that core beliefs are something that we just inherently know to be true and act as our guide to life. These beliefs can either be positive or negative and have an exhilarating or a destructive effect on how we experience life. Negative core beliefs hinder us from reaching our goals in life as well as from finding our ultimate life's purpose. They're typically formed early in life as a result of some hurtful or painful event that we experienced. They're then hidden in our subconscious and the reason we have to repeat certain areas of our life over and over again until we get it right. And because they're hidden in our subconscious, we're not normally aware of how they affect us. It's also important that we understand these negative core beliefs are also connected to our sense of self-worth and leave us feeling lots of times as if we're unworthy, unlovable, not good enough, imperfect, unwanted, etc. Many of us believe that we experience these problem areas in our life because we lack sufficient faith in our abilities to overcome them. Nothing could be further from the truth. Our faith is strong and it is what prevents us from being successful because we're simply misplacing it. Let me see if I can explain to you what's really taken place. In my last post, we defined faith as something that is believed, especially with strong conviction. We earlier stated that negative core beliefs formed as the result of some hurtful or painful event we experienced. Allow me to share with you that it's not the event we experience that's causing us this continued pain, but the emotion we attach to this event is what we're really trying to avoid. Remember, these strong emotions left us feeling not pretty good about ourselves, didn't they? The result is that our subconscious mind, which is trying to protect us, will have us do almost anything possible to avoid any circumstance or situation that even remotely reminds us of these feelings. It has us making excuses, blaming other people, places, or things, and fail to take responsibility for not being successful in this area of our life. Ready for some good news? These feelings that we have about ourselves are wrong. They're value judgments and don't exist anywhere except in our mind. Has anyone ever gone to the doctor and had a pound of unworthy, unlovable, or not good enough removed? What we really need to do is have the courage to look at each and every one of these problem areas of our life that aren't working and ask, why do I feel this way? You'll find we're placing our faith in either a conclusion we've made about ourselves or a value judgment. And as we know, they're paper tigers and don't exist. It's not a lack of faith after all, it's simply that we're misplacing it. In my next post, I'll discuss the connection between faith and how we experience this physical world. If you want to know more about this subject, contact me through this website to schedule one of my seminars or workshops entitled Straight Talk About Success and Personal Growth for your group or organization. Peace and God bless.